Hey there, I am Josh Short from Edit Video Faster. This tutorial is on how to create and use quick transitions in Avid Media Composer. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, thank you for watching as well. I come out with a new tutorial in Avid Media Composer, Adobe After Effects, or another post-production software every Friday, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Alright, on with the tutorial. I already have a couple clips in the sequence I got over at Video Hive. Now let's add a transition between them. Hit the backslash key, that's the one uh, right above the return enter key, not the one with the question mark. Doing that brings up the quick transition box, which you've probably seen before. Under the add dropdown, there's all these default quick transitions. Let's add a simple dissolve. And here it is. But let's say we want to add a horizontal wipe and have it show up in this quick transition box. Go ahead, hit Command or Control-8 to open up the Effect Palette. Under Edge Wipe, you'll find Horizontal. Throw that onto the transition point. That replaces the dissolve that was previously on there. I'm going to close out of the Effect Palette and bring up the Effect Editor. I'm just going to add a slight feather and border to it. Let's take a look. We've added the horizontal wipe, but we still have to get it to show up in the quick transition box. Create a new bin and label it quick transitions exactly. It has to have a space between the two words and it has to have an S on transitions. Otherwise, it doesn't work. I'm going to drag this bin into the O3 graphics folder. By the way, I have another tutorial on how I organize my bins and folders in all my projects. I'll link that below. Move the time indicator over the transition point and open up the effect editor. Now drag the effect icon into the bin we just created. I'm going to remove the effect, and then hit the backslash key again. Open up the add dropdown and look what we have. Select horizontal and hit add. And there's our transition. Let's give it a more descriptive name so we can tell what it is when we open up the quick transition box. There it is. We can always go into the transition and change it around and save another one. When we do that, it'll also show up in the quick transition box. I just released my first product over on my site, editvideofaster.com. It's a quick transition bin full of over 50 preset quick transitions. There's a link in the description bar below. Head on over to the site and check it out. It's really inexpensive, it's easy to install and use, it doesn't require any third-party plugins, and it gives you a head start on creating your own quick transition presets. It'll only be around for a limited time, so make sure you head on over to the website to get yours. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating and using quick transitions in Avid Media Composer. If you did, why don't you send it over to a fellow video editor who could benefit from it. Make sure to head on over to editvideofaster.com to check out my quick transition bin and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you over at the site and back here for another tutorial next week.